Hello YouTube, it's Kurosama, and I just want to go ahead and talk to y'all about the new Shizuka uh, hobby show that just happened. Uh, well, it's actually ongoing until, uh, I think it's Sunday, it's going to go ahead and uh, stop, but there was a lot of kits that was recently announced that I really feel that I want to go ahead and share my opinions on, uh, whether it's just about like, hey, if I'm going to buy it or not. Uh, so in this segment, let's just go ahead and call this yay or nay. Uh, so essentially, if I do like the kit, I'm more likely going to buy it. It'd be a yay, and if it's something that I'm not really interested in, I'm, I'm just not you're know, going to purchase it. That'll be a nay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so before I get into the Shizuka um, Hobby Fair, I want to go ahead and just touch on a couple of kits that recently got announced. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is a GBT High Grade Universal Century Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode Painting Model. Uh, so what this looks like is. Uh, it's going to be a blank canvas of, you know, the Gundam Unicorn. So, I mean, it looks like the only thing it's really going to have, it has like different shades of gray, it has white, it has the clear white for the uh, the inner cycle frame, and then it has like uh, just that regular gray for the weapon, maybe some like, uh, it looks like some inner armor parts for the shield. Um, overall, I think it looks fantastic. I, w I'm, I'm, I would like to pick this up, but that 2,400 yen... I, th I think that's just a little bit too much. I can just get, I think the, the original um, Unicorn is like significantly cheaper, but this is probably just a lot better on the painting side. I think it's just a better canvas if you want to go ahead and paint. Um, in which I would love, I would love to go ahead and, you know, paint a, a high grade Unicorn. Um, but you know what, I, it, this is probably just going to be a nay for me. Uh, so moving forward, now this. The real grade Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode, Destroy Mode version TWC Lightning Model. Um, I don't really remember what the TWC is, uh, so someone in the comments definitely enlighten me. However, 10,800 yen, that's, that's a little bit over $100, like $108 or something like that. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. I mean, the real grade Unicorn is what, like... 35 40 bucks somewhere around that price range and then like the rest of that is, is just the lights and then the base so maybe i could probably see that like let's just say i could say you know what actually i could see that because maybe the, the base and the lights alone if you got it from a, a different seller will probably cost you around like 60 bucks because it's going to be wireless so it's going to be on the station and it's not really like a new technology this this has been around for a little bit um I'm not sure. Um, it's coming out in June, and that's so problematic because I'm actually going to a Gundam base at the end of May. Um, I don't really see myself going back in June, so if I can find someone to pick this up for me, I'll probably like ask someone that's already here in Japan that lives close to Tokyo, like, hey, if you go to Tokyo, can you pick this up for me over at the Gundam base, and I'll hook you up with money, and you can just ship it to me, because um, I really don't want to take a train to... You know, it's going to be like hundreds of dollars to go back to Osaka just to pick this up because that's the closest gun to base. But it looks good. Um, I like the lights and everything. It looks. I don't know. I don't think the the cycle frame is gonna ha is gonna have a set color. I think it's just gonna be a clear, and then it's gonna light up. You know, however you know it, the, the light the color lights are. Um, the only thing that's kind of worrisome is if. It, it's posable. I mean, it's a real grade, it says, so you have to build it, but I don't see it being built in a way that it cannot move. So, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe they'll release some more information on it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is going to be the Moon Gundam. So, I think this looks fantastic. Um, it's one of those weird... I don't know, man. Like I, I don't know anything about the Moon series. I know... It's kind of just been talked about a little bit, but I don't. I really never got into it. I never, you know, seen much information on it, and I never. I seen a couple of designs. And I'm like, eh. Like I was like, it looks very like, like they took an original thing and then just kind of like slapped a whole bunch of details on it with some extra like parts, and then bam. This, however, it's very cool in its own way. Like the whole funnel system that looks like a crescent moon. I think that's fantastic. Uh, the the amount of details, panel lines, and everything, that looks fantastic. So it looks like it's coming out in September, uh, two thousand eighteen. That's going to be amazing for a retail price of thirty two hundred yen. Um, that's pretty steep. That's I mean this it looks like this might be a fairly fairly large kit. Uh, maybe around like the unicorn size. 
Um, I'm not really too sure. I can't really judge it just based off of this. Um, but I guess like that's a pretty justified price for the amount of details and everything that you appear to get. So that does look pretty good. Now the next thing is going to be the um, narrative Gundam. And uh, to be honest, I don't, uh, it's like the narrative is, is cool. And I think I might have mentioned it. Uh, let's see, I can't find a, that's probably like Japan. So I don't really have any other pictures to pull up. Uh, but I've kind of showed some pictures off in the past. Uh, narrative looks pretty good. It's, I mean, they didn't really show anything different. It still has like that mobile armor slash like, you know, mobile booster or something. Um, but overall, it looks okay. Um, I will go ahead and give the narrative a, a yay. Just because, like, I think it's it's a little bit different, and I love the new Gundam, so it has, like, a lot of new properties, and I like that. And also the Moon Gundam, it's getting a yay as well. So the Real Grace is Abby. Uh, it looks really good. It has, like, a lot of different details. It has a lot, a lot of gimmicks. So it looks like it yeah, obviously is going to have its funnels. Uh, the weapon looks like it, it can extend. So there's a lot of cool things uh, overall, but I'm on the fence about this is Abby because I do have the Master Grade. But I think a real grade next to it will probably look pretty cool. And I kind of felt the same way with the tall geese, the real grade tall geese. I was like, why do I need the real real grade tall geese when I have the master grade tall geese? I was like, it looks so, so much uh, similar. The Sazabi has, to me, the real grade Sazabi has better proportions. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and roll with the real grade. Because it, it just it looks a little bit better than the master grade. And it's going to be a little bit easier to handle. Um, and I just liked a lot of the things that uh, they kind of show with it. So overall, <sighs> hold on. Let me, let me see something real quick. 4,000. Yes. Oh, my God. It's going to be close to 50 bucks. But out here in Japan, it'll probably closer to like $45, maybe even 40 bucks. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm going to give this one a little, a little in between. Let me think on it a little bit more. Um, cause I don't want to just buy it just because I don't, I, I, I really wouldn't be happy with that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, next thing we do have is the Jagen. All right. So the Jagen looks really good. Um, it's a very simplistic design in which I'm very happy with. I don't mind the simplistic uh, stuff. I do have the Nemo. Uh, the Nemo is an amazing kit. I do want to get some more GMs in my collection, some, uh, massive GMs. Uh, but I do have, I, I have quite a few, if I look at my collection of, uh, of kits, I do have quite a few that are fairly simplistic, you know, much uh, of the Jagan. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. I do like the way it looks. I love the thrusters. Um, this could be a kit I, I, I might go ahead and paint uh, just because I, don't, I just don't like that color, that like weird green, whatever kind of green that is. It, 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 does, it doesn't really work for me. Um, so I think if I painted it, uh, like probably any other color, I'm thinking more blue, like maybe a very light blue. I think that would look really awesome. Um, but overall, this is going to get a yay. And also the Jagan is going to retail for 4,320 yen and it's going to be coming out in July. So not really too far from now. All right. So looking at the Gundam Unicorn Phoenix, uh, this is going to be the uh, narrative version. It looks really good. Let me see if, uh, we got any, you nope. Know, no spots available right there, but um, overall it does look pretty good. I'm I'm pretty stoked for it because all the previous uh, Phoenixes have been uh, P Bandai or like Gundam Base uh, releases. Um, so I, I I'm, I'm also happy that this isn't gonna have like that chrome gold because I want to paint the gold myself. Uh, also the inner frame cycle frame. So as soon as I get this, I'm painting it. So it's coming out next month in June. And it retails for three thousand yen. That's a pretty that's a pretty decent price for this. Um, so one hundred percent, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. This is a yay, and I'm gonna be painting it. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna have is the Sananju Stein High Grade. Uh, this is the narrative version, so it's gonna just have uh, looks like it's just the Xeon crest on the uh, on the chest piece, as well as the sleeves. So I'm not really seeing anything that's uh, crazy, you know, different with this. Um, I mean, it, it looks really good. I'm on the fence if I want to get this because I have the Master Grade, and the Master Grade is like perfection. I love the Master Grade uh, Sinandra Stein. 
So once I get some cl more clear pictures of it, because I know they've shown the, the color ones. I don't know why it's not showing up here. Um, and I, I couldn't find it uh, on the internet. So I'll have to look a little further. But um, I guess the colors do look pretty decent. Um, so it's, it's, up in the, it's up in the air. I'll, I'm going to give it a, a yay. And I know it's coming out sometime this year. It doesn't look like there's any kind of a time frame nor a price. Uh, but it's probably going to be released uh, maybe around like October, November time frame. Uh, but it will get a yay in my book. All right, so the next kit that we have is the high grade GM Interceptor Custom. Uh, now it's a gun on the origin, so it's gonna really have a lot of great um, articulation overall, and I think it's gonna be a very solid model, but this is my problem. I hate the head of the model. I hate the colors, which it's kind of hard. I can't really gripe against the colors that I can just be painted. Um, and obviously like I can mod the head, switch it out. But I don't want to go through all that work for something that I'm just overall not interested in. Because even if I, if I can change all that, I'm still like, I could have done that with another kit that I probably would like a little bit more. Um, such as like the Gundam FSD. I love that kit and I probably would have just rather customized that than customize this. Uh, but I'm not too interested in this, so this is going to get a nay. Alright, so the next thing we have is the P-Bandai High Grade GM Sniper Custom. Um, you know, this looks amazing for a high grade. Like, I love all the details. Um, unfortunately, I already have the master grade. So, uh, and this is P Bandai. So, this is just going to be a nay uh, for me. Now, it's going to be coming out, looks like to be uh, announced. But 1900 yen, so that's really not that, uh, not that bad uh, of a price tag. Okay, and they also showed up a couple more uh, suits for the Cross Silhouette lineup. Uh, now they did show the uh, the Zeta as well as the Zaku. They also showed I, I I still can't find any pictures of this. I found it like earlier today on my phone, uh, but I can't find it on uh, Facebook or anywhere on the computer. Um, but the Cross Silhouette uh, Double O Diver Gundam, like I'm I'm super stoked about that. Like I really really want that uh, as a Cross Silhouette kit. So I'm very happy that that's going to be getting released. Um, it looks like this is going to be a very promising line, and what I would like to do is maybe go back and grab a couple of the, uh, like, some of the SD Gundams, uh, and I, I'm pretty sure they can, like, really work with this line. Like, you can really uh, interchange uh, the parts and kind of, like, um, you know, give it the boost with the, the internal frame. So, uh, maybe I might go back and, and get a couple of um, SDs that I really, you know, liked overall. Uh, give it the little inner frame and just you know go to town with it. So um, these I'm really I'm I'm planning on getting the RX seventy eight uh, all of them. I'm planning on getting all of them. So yay and more than likely a lot of them will be getting painted. Uh, a lot of them will get painted. Okay, so the next thing we have is the P Bandai um, Gundam Exia Avalanche. Now I love this. Uh, I love the Avalanche. I have the No Gray one in one hundred. So. I, I want to get this one, but I already have it in a 1 100 form that I think looks fantastic. Um, but obviously this has way more detail and posability, articulation, gimmicks. Uh, it has those extra parts uh, to make the, uh, the little leg, as you can see right there. I guess that's like the, the dash parts, if I'm not mistaken. So I do like that. I think that looks fantastic. Uh, and that's kind of like the only reason I really get this is to get those... Uh, leg attachments, but everything else is fairly uh, the same as the um, as far as the aesthetics of the no gray 100 but it looks really good and I if I can if I can get it like it retails for seven seven thousand two hundred yen That's pretty up there in the price tag, but I, I Really do want to get it just because I, I have a master grade a uh, whole bunch of master grades of Exia so I like to add another one to that collection so this is gonna get a yay only if I can pick it up but if not, then hey, uh, I'll pick it up maybe somewhere later on down in the future. Okay, then we have the high grade ground Gundam type with the, uh, it's like the extra, the, the booster backpack. I do not know what that's called. Can't really read it. But um, because of the extra backpack, I like the backpack, but I'm not paying, I'm not paying that, that amount of money for a P Bandai kit that I already have that just comes with a backpack. Uh, well, not, it doesn't just come with a backpack. It comes with extra weapons. Comes with that uh, GM head that you can uh, kind of see right there, and it comes with like the rocket launcher. Uh, what else it comes with? It uh, has two. It has like a missile launcher right there, and then the uh, rocket launcher right there. And here's kind of like the layout of everything that you do receive. So you do get quite a bit, but the only thing that's really going to be different is going to be that backpack 
and then these two weapon well sorry one two and then three weapons uh right there everything else is pretty much already standard with uh the ground ground type gundam and i really just don't want to build another, another ground type gundam so this is going to be a nay for me okay so moving on to the next line of uh kits um we have two silhouettes you know two different uh kits from the build divers line um i'm not sure if this is co coming from the anime which I'm, I'm pretty sure it is uh but with that new announcement of like the I don't know, it's like two different lines, like one's like Bill Divers, uh, it's, it's the one with this guy in it, um, I don't know what that says, but it's going to be two different Bill Divers, um, kind of like side stories, uh, so one's going to have that, like the little spider ball featured, and the other one's going to have the uh, Storm Breaker, uh, but these two, I'm pretty sure they might be from the series, uh, I think this one in particular might have been in that opening, uh, as the bad guy. I don't know what about this one though, but we'll go ahead and see. And I'm pretty sure in the next like two to three episodes, we'll go ahead and uh, find out what they are or probably like in the next like couple of weeks, uh, we'll definitely see um, an actual release of these kids, like, you know, promotional uh, pictures, but hey, I'm pretty excited. And then they showed us the Gundam Sheen Ultron. Uh, I think it looks fantastic. I really, really want a, a new Ultron, whether it is, um, I mean, we don't have a Master Grade, we have like the Master Grade Ultron that's from like the EW, but we don't have the Ultron TV version. That's the one I really want, it's my favorite version. Um, so I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm accepting it and I do hope that, um, it looks like the articulation is gonna be fantastic. I'm not really too keen on like that wolf and tiger thing. Uh, I think that's just, it doesn't look that good in my opinion. So a part of me wants to really customize this to get it as close to the um, the Ultron as possible, but I'll probably just keep it like that and then just you know have hopes that Bandai's gonna release like a revived version of a high grade Ultron. But we'll, we'll go ahead and see. Now this will begin release in July for 1900 yen, and this will be a yay. Okay, so we're getting the SD Build Divers RX Zero Circle. I don't know what the RX stands for. Um, I'm not really seeing anything on the on RX, but it looks like it's see the internal frame adapts the uh, cross frame of the SD cross silhouette series. Now this is something that's interesting. This thing, I I'm telling y'all right now, this is gonna be just like that winning like the winning Gundam was that I think it was just called winning Gundam, um, but it's the one that like in in Bill Fighter's Tribe when um, you know Fumina's like little SD takes like the backpack parts off and it becomes like. Uh, like a real type Gundam or something like that, like basically like a high grade. I, this looks like it's 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 going to exactly do that. So the like the wings, those are going to be those are going to be legs. I want to say this part is, is going to be the the front part of the head right here. Um, I don't know about the, the neck. These are going to be part of the arms. These are going to be like the gauntlets. Uh, this looks like it's going to be the front skirt, and I don't know about the leg like these little legs. For, um, I don't know. Oops. I don't know where those are gonna go, but this is this is what this is how my argument is kind of like justified. You see all these little peg holes. There's peg holes right here on the chest, on the shoulders, on the, there's a, some on the legs. I think it was on the back, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's these little pegs right here on the forearm. I'm telling y'all, this is gonna be a big gimmick, and I'm buying this. I am 100% buying this. This is 100% yay in my books, and I'm getting this scarf. I'm gonna get it beautiful looking scarf. Okay, so this is the Master Grade 100 uh, Gundam Stormbreaker. This is gonna be a P Bandai, so I'm not really too excited uh, about that. Uh, but 5,400 yen, that, it doesn't look like that's gonna be too bad of a price considering uh, this looks like it's gonna be a fairly large kit. Um, I love the weapon set it has. Uh, the backpack looks fantastic. I love the legs. This looks like a really solid Master Grade. So um, I'm gonna see if I can try and pick this up as early as I can. Uh, but if I can't, I will definitely pick it up much later, so this will be a yay. Okay, and this is another kit from the Gundam Moon series, uh, the Varguel. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing that. People in the comments, go ahead and harass me as much as you want, saying it's this, this, and this, Origins is this. Um, but this kit, it looks okay. It doesn't have any release date or price. It, it just looks okay. It's, it's, it, it essentially has the same body as the Gundam Moon, just different backpack and different head and different color scheme. It looks okay. Um, the backpack looks pretty cool with the funnels. 
Um, so I, I want to see more pictures of it, especially pictures of it posed. So that way I can definitely see the articulation. It looks like the articulation won't be too bad. Maybe in the arms, it looks like it might be limited. It looks like it has one point of articulation, but I, I could be wrong. Um, but overall, like the details are fantastic. I'm pretty sure this one's going to be also in the uh, 3,000 uh, yen price range. But I'll give it uh, a closer to a yay. So it's not, it's not a, a if or a maybe. It's just like, eh, let me look at more pictures. And then we'll go ahead and make a decision. Okay, we also have the high-grade GM Canon. Uh, it looks really good. It's a part of the uh, Origin series as well. So um, it, looks, it, it looks like it has great proportions, great details. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yay on this one because I don't have any type of GM, uh, GM cannons and this one just looks fantastic. The colors look amazing. The details look great. Uh, so this is, this is going to be a really good kit in my collection. Okay, and we also have the P-Bandai Master Grade uh, Polypod Ball. Ball. <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know what to make of this to be honest. Three thousand yen. That's not a lot of money, so um, that's pretty good. It's, it's relatively cheap, but it's a damn spider. Like I don't I I just don't I don't get it to be honest. I'm I'm not gonna get it because I don't like it. I don't I don't care for the balls. <laughs> I don't care for them. I'm sorry. Uh, and this one's no exception. I just don't think it looks fantastic. Even the color scheme. I'm just like eh. But um, yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass. So nay. Okay, so getting away from the Gundams just for a little bit, uh, the Naruto figure eyes uh, model kit, that thing looks fantastic. It's gonna come with magnets, so if I wanna pose it on like metal parts as if it's you know utilizing chakra, I can definitely go ahead and do that. So I do have a couple of Naruto figures in my collection. I think I have a, a couple of fig arts, if I'm not mistaken. I have two fig art uh, Naruto's. So I don't mind getting another one. I think this is gonna be a little bit bigger than the fig arts. So. I, I, you know, it looks good in my books, and I'm more likely uh, going to be picking this up. Okay, and they also had the high-grade Mazinger Z. This is the Infinity version. Looks fantastic. Details are amazing. Comes out in August, 3,700 uh, yen. So that looks good. And then we're also going to have uh, this version, uh, which, which is the great Mazinger. And it's going to come with two swords. Fantastic. Um, so overall, this thing looks amazing, and I'm, I'm picking up all of them. Uh, I know a couple of the uh, companies are making these, but I, well, I I just prefer these to be honest. But that one's gonna go for four thousand yen, but it's worth the price in my opinion. All right, so the last bit of things I want to go ahead and talk about is going to be some of the Kotobukiya uh, kits. Now they do have a couple of the uh, Megami device as well as some of the F, uh, FA girls. I'm pretty stoked for these. Um, I, I'm just getting into the series, <clears throat> but this looks fantastic. I love that design. Uh, the details look really great, and overall, I, I'm I'm just I'm pretty pumped. I, now, some of the armor I'm not really too keen on, but that weapon looks amazing, both the uh, the beam saber as well as that like pulse rifle. Uh, but I'm not really too keen on the armor, so I might change that armor out for uh, something else. Some of the uh, the, the mobile well, no, uh, mechanized like system goods or whatever. So I'll probably change that out, but uh, this is looking really, really awesome. And then moving up to here, that is a huge lance and a huge rifle. Um, I'm buying them. I don't care how much they are. I don't. I don't really care at all. But that just looks. That looks amazing. <laughs> I'm. I am just like in awe and shock um, at like just the detail. Now her face, I'm not really too keen on, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna have some. Uh, more neutral faces. I, I I much prefer this one. Like this is this is pretty awesome. Um, this one's kind of like psycho, <laughs> but uh, this looks really good overall. I'm I'm really pumped for it. Uh, I don't see they have a price. I don't really see a price. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be upwards in like maybe the six thousand, maybe even close to seven thousand uh, yen price tag. Uh, then you got this one, which is the latest SOL uh, frame. Uh, so I know they had like the Hornets and they had like another one, but this looks good. Like they have like nice little decals that's going to be coming with this. I love that helmet and like the backpack. This is going to be such a cool kit uh, to put on my shelf. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked for that. And uh, they got this one, but uh, I don't really care. <clears throat> and I think that's it. They I think they kind of showcased a couple more, but... Um, that's real realistically. That's all I really care about. 
All right, guys, so that was it. Uh, I know it took a little bit longer. This is probably gonna be going closer to like, I don't know, like I'll have to check and see, but it looks like it's gonna be like close to like 20 minutes maybe. Um, but hey, I just wanna go ahead and let y'all know some kits that I'm really looking at, uh, as well as my overall impressions of the uh, the hobby, uh, well, the uh, Shizuoka hobby show. So I think it looks amazing. Like these, these are a lot of great kits. Um, now next month is gonna be a fairly small month with me getting kits because there's not like a whole bunch coming out. But when we get closer to like the fall, there's so many kits that's just recently been announced since like you know from J uh, July that's getting released all the way to uh, about like October time frame that I'm just pumped for. So later on, definitely gonna be picking up some of these kits, getting more into Kota Bukia because <clears throat> there's a lot of kits that are coming out like around like October, November, uh, December time frame. So. <clears throat> just expect me to go ahead and buy a lot more Kotobukiya and start building more of those, but I'm never going to abandon Bandai, but um, there's just not as much of the Bandai uh, as I would probably have bought in, in the past, uh, the past couple of years, but every month I'm probably going to get at least like maybe um, three or four kits uh, from Bandai, so that way I can uh, pro possibly review one kit from Bandai a week and then start dipping into uh, Kotobukiya and then just have a good, uh, I think a balance you know, review channel. But that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, definitely rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't before, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.